Yes. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I am filling in for Wendy Leedy, our member engagement coordinator, who's responsible for facilitating the elections and did most of the work up to now. And she is happily at home with a three-week-old baby boy. So just a shout out to her and to thank her for all of her work. So I'm going to run through the election process where we are um, to date. So eligible voting contacts um, for general members in good standing. The cutoff for voter eligibility this year was the 20th of August. And the election this year, um, well, let me back up. So this morning, you probably saw an announcement the Board of Trustees this morning, their meeting, appointed Kevin Bloomberg uh, to serve a three-year term on the NRO Number Council. So congratulations to Kevin. So that was an appointment year. This year in the election, uh, we have two seats on the Aaron Board of Trustees and five seats open on the Aaron Advisory Council. Voting will open today, 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 3 p.m. here. And voting will remain open until 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Friday, 13th of October. Can't do much about that date. Um, voting is online this year. Everyone will vote through Aaron online. You can vote anywhere, office, home, computer. I've been told in the past some people are able to vote on their mobile device, so hopefully that will work for you. Um, four easy steps. You log in to Aaron, will log into the Aaron website, log into Aaron online. You will see on your dashboard a Vote Now banner. Click on that and it'll bring you to the ballot. And I'll walk you through what that looks like. Why you should vote. Because it's your um, responsibility and your privilege as an Aaron member to select your leaders who are going to carry Aaron in the future. Um, it is your opportunity to exercise this. And every member organization gets one vote, no matter what size your organization is. So your one vote does count. OK, so election dates. This is just to show that we follow the um, bylaws and the voting, uh, voting requirements that are published on the Aaron website. So the call for nominations was the 17th of July through 15th of August. We set the voter eligibility deadline August 20th. We announced the initial slate of candidates at the end of August. At that time, we also have a call for petitions. Um, anybody is able to um, run a petition, and if they get enough support, their name would appear on the ballot. We had no request for petitions this year. So the initial slate of, final slate of candidates was announced shortly thereafter. And now we're moving into the voting period. And winners will be announced shortly after voting closes, but no later than the 20th of October. OK, so to cast your ballot, you'll see you'll open up the Aaron website, um, log in to Aaron online. This is what you should see, this blue banner on your dashboard. If you click on the Vote Now link, it will bring you to a couple pages. Um, a transparency agreement that you'll click on I agree. And it will bring you to the first ballot uh, for the Board of Trustees. And you will click. So some um, voting representatives represent more than one organization. So in this little box for weight, they will see a weight that is um, equivalent to the number of organizations for whom you serve as a voting representative. So the way the system is set up, you can cast all of your votes at one time if you choose to put all of your weights in at once, or you can change your weight and suppose you are a voting, organization, a voting rep for two organizations and you want to vote differently for each one, your weight would be one, and you'd cast that ballot and come back, and you'd have an additional weight of one to cast your other ballot for the other organization. Select your candidates. Hit Submit Vote. 
And then if you have more weights to use, the ballot will pop back up again and you can enter the weight you wish to use. Go through the same process. And then you'll see a vote confirmation on your screen. And you will also be emailed a confirmation. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, just a few reminders when voting opens. We have some copies of uh, the voter guide up at the election help desk outside. You can go online and read the candidate bios. You can read the statements of support, and you can still make statements of support throughout the entire election. Um, voting will open at 3 p.m. here this afternoon. I will be out at the election help desk during break um, this afternoon. If you have any questions or have any issues, please find me. And please remember that polls close sharply at 6 p.m., so I encourage you not to wait till the last two minutes in case you have an issue and you need to reach out to us for help. Um, you can email a question to members at Aaron.net throughout the election, or you can also submit an Aaron online ticket and just select meetings, elections, and we will look for those questions there. And with that, I'll take any questions. A comment. If you're one of the types of people who like to put off things till the last minute, you should pretend that polls close on Thursday, October 12th. <laughs> people trying to get into the election system and finding out that they're not the right contact or they're the right contact but not listed for the organization or all that other stuff, we like to discover that on Thursday. We particularly do not like to discover it Friday at 5.44 with panicked phone calls, because we've had this in the past. So please vote early, okay? If you really want to put it off to the last minute, Thursday night, that's great. We look forward to talking to you Friday. We'll have a whole day to work things out. Do not try to hold this off to the very last minute or run the risk that you will not be able to vote if there's any problem. Uh, and there are sometimes problems. People don't realize they're not their own voting contact or they're not listed for all the organizations. This is, I give this as a word of advice because we've had this happen before. Okay, thank you, Susan. So one incentive for those of you here or those uh, viewing online for you to vote early. Beginning next Monday, Aaron's staff will be calling all eligible voters. So if you vote before Monday, you won't be receiving that call. <laughs>